Hi everyone, I'm Jonathan Marshall. I am the creator of Eco Explore and the education director at the North Carolina Arboretum. Eco Explore is a program where you can help scientists and earn badges and prizes. For more information, check out ecoexplore.net. We're going to be looking today at one of my very favorite birds and one that you may have seen before, the white-breasted nuthatch. There's a few really easy ways to tell this bird from other birds that might uh, venture to your feeder. For one, it's the field markings. If you were to look at the white-breasted nuthatch, you'll see a bird with a black cap, a white face, and sort of a bluish grayish kind of back and wings. They also have a slightly upturned beak that's very long and pointy. One of the interesting behaviors you may observe in white-breasted nuthatches is crawling. They kind of creep and crawl along tree branches. They can even go upside down around branches and straight up and straight down tree trunks. So they are great climbers. Their song sounds like a nasally kind of yank, yank, yank. Here it is. There are four species of nuthatches in the United States of America. In North Carolina, we're lucky enough to have three of those four. We don't have the pygmy nuthatch, but we do have the white-breasted nuthatch that we're talking about today, as well as brown-headed nuthatches, which are more commonly found in the east than the west in the mountains where we're at today. Uh, but also there is the red-breasted nuthatch uh, that um, has a very, very tight range just along the, uh, the southern Appalachian region of the mountains. They can be found in neighborhoods, in parks, and really any woodland where you have some mature deciduous trees. You may be finding them this winter or in a future winter because they do not migrate south to go find food in warmer places. Instead, they're able to find their food in the winter. And if you have a bird feeder, one of their favorite treats is definitely sunflower seeds. They actually collect sunflower seeds and other seeds that they may find either from feeders or naturally found in the forest. And they take them and hide them in the cracks of tree bark. They'll stay there until maybe there's a tougher part of the winter or maybe somebody forgets to fill up their bird feeder and they'll actually go and find those caches of food and live off of those. One interesting thing and behavior that you may notice, this is a really fun fact about these birds, if you see them visit your feeder or a feeder that you visit, you may notice that these birds come to the feeder, grab a seed, take off, and they leave the feeder in a different direction each time. It's because they don't want the other birds to see where they are hiding their caches of seeds. We hope you enjoyed learning about the white-breasted nuthatch. Good luck, have fun, and keep exploring.